Today we are going to the Cockerell Butterfly Center. Clara and I have both never gone to a butterfly center before, so we are going to find out what's so special about them. As we approach the center, we wonder, how many butterflies are there? Are we going to be surrounded by them, or will they all be fluttering at a distance? The more we wonder, the more curious we became. So the way that you get into the Butterfly Center is through time slots, and we didn't realize that. Right now it is 11.40, and our time slot is at 1.30. So first, we're gonna go get lunch. And now we're back. The first area felt really childish at first with large, shiny plastic models of bugs and big, fun fonts showcasing bugs through screens about waist high. But when we looked around a little more, it actually became more fascinating. Butterflies were hatching out of their cocoons. Beetles were on display. And the two walls of butterflies and moths showcased only a sliver of the wide varieties of colors and shapes they have. But then, it was finally time to go into the Butterfly Center. When we first went into the butterfly area, we were actually hit with a ton of humidity and heat. It was almost unbearable at first. How do you feel? Freaking hot. It's a sauna in here. <laughs> but then we made our way to the much cooler downstairs, and that's when it all happened. Butterflies of all shapes and colors were flying everywhere. Flowers and fruits decorated the plants like ornaments on Christmas trees. And their smells, strong, competing against each other for the butterfly's attention. The butterflies were not shy at all. Their wings would sometimes slap against you, they landed on my hat a few times, and I even got this quick shot of one on a kid's head. We probably spent a good two hours walking around here, but before we left, we decided to try and do one last thing. We wanted to see if one would get on Clara's hand. <laughs> it took a little while, and in the meantime, we saw a turtle, and we were able to get some shots of some of the butterflies that were really camera shy at the beginning. Like this green one, and this translucent one. But finally, it happened. was our trip to the Cockerell Butterfly Center. If I were to rate my experience, I would give it an eight out of 10. It was fun. I'd never seen butterflies flying around like that. I'm sure there are probably bigger and better ones out there, but this was my first. The only slight negative I would say was that there were a lot of kids there. They came in in like huge groups of like 15 to 20 at a time and sometimes they take up this whole area. But it wasn't all that bad because even when they took up the whole area, they would be gone in like five minutes. Of course, another wave would eventually come in, but in all honesty, it's a museum, so you gotta expect that. I think that that's why they have those time slots. That way it doesn't get too crazy. So I respect that. There were moments where it was calm and moments where it was a little crazy, so you get a little bit of both. In the end, eight out of 10 would recommend. Peace.